Hello, my name is Jesse, and I'm going to be talking about a condition called phenyl ketonuria. It is a rare condition in which a baby is born without the ability to properly break down an amino acid called phenylalanine. Here is a molecular representation of the compound. The reason why phenylalanine is not broken down is due to a dysfunctional pathway. Basically, there's a mutation in the gene for the hepatic enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, PAH. So, in a normal patient, PHE, which is phenylalanine, is transformed into tyrosine. But in a patient with phenylketonuria, phenylalanine is accumulated and turned into phenylpyruvate, also called phenylketone. Here's a visual diagram of what I just explained in a comparison of a normal patient and a patient with phenylketonuria. From a genetics point of view, phenylketonuria is an autosomal recessive metabolic genetic disorder. And here's a diagram of how two heterozygous parents, which are carriers, affect their offsprings. Here's a list of some symptoms. It is involved in the production of melanin, so patients will have a lighter skin. Also, delayed mental and social skills. Head size significantly below normal. Hyperactivity. Jerking movement of the arms or legs. Mental retardation. Seizures. Skin rashes. Tremors. Unusual and unusual positioning of hands. Here's a picture which has a comparison of a patient with phenylketonuria and a girl who's perfectly healthy. This chart provides the information about the incidence of phenylketonuria. And as you can see, the highest is in Japan and the lowest incidence is in Turkey. Diagnosis of this condition is crucial for the health of the individual. A blood test, urine test, or breath test can be done to diagnose it. And for treatment, you must, patients must follow a diet for life, which involves eating no protein.